Hello fellow mayors, this is Tanya Valdez, aka Beatbox Tan, and I am the mayor of Mount Zion. Now, for those of you who know me, I'm an Animal Crossing fanatic. I have put in over 530 hours into Animal Crossing New Leaf, and yet my town and my house are still not the way that I want them to look. So I'm going to go ahead and create a series of Animal Crossing New Leaf videos. This way, I'm going to get, um, or I'm going to go ahead and allow viewer participation and let you guys help me get the town in, um, in, in a much better state, a more welcoming town to where my villagers stay happy. Right now, I have things scattered all over the place on the town because I don't, you know, your pockets only hold so much. So what do you do? You start kind of dropping things on the floor. So it's a mess. So we'll be doing a clown, uh, I'm sorry, a town cleanup later. Uh, but for now, I wanted to give you a tour of my home. I have started with the fairy tale theme and I have been um, completing the, I guess the quests, uh, not quests, but I can't remember what they're called. Um, where as long as you keep your house clean and you kind of stick to a theme in each room uh, you get rewarded for it so I have got the golden arch door and the roofing and the exterior so all I need to do is keep working on that so I could get the mailbox and the fence or whatever else they have to offer I haven't looked into it yet I just had the house the way I kind of wanted it I wasn't really looking into getting everything golden but now I am so going into my house, you're greeted with the happy birthday room. Uh, a lot of these items were purchased from Gracie, which was with the sweets collection, except things like the pillows, I'm sorry, the chairs, not the pillows. The chairs were marshmallow chairs, and I took them to Cyrus, and he roasted them for me. Also this uh, chocolate fountain, which uh, Cyrus made into white chocolate because I like white chocolate. Uh, a couple of other things that just fit in the room, but they're not hard to get items. Now, as you can see, I kind of had to um, time travel. And this is when I wanted to put the game down. I had put in a ton of hours, hundreds of hours, and I thought, you know what? I need to seriously put the game down now. This is a serious problem. So I was really against time traveling, but I figured let me just get the house the way I want it so that way when I'm street past in HH Showcase, it'll show the house the way I want it. So I have to admit I did time travel to get a lot of these things. I'm back now playing the game and I want to get everything finished up without time traveling. I do have a couple of my pictures in here. I have those kind of scattered throughout the house as well. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with the room to the left. The items in this room I got from um, the bug offs, the fishing tournaments, and the fall uh, items that were available. Like say when you picked up a mushroom and it wasn't an actual mushroom, it was a, an item. So I did collect those and I have a couple of bugs in here that kind of go with the, the setting as well. I have my turtle because I love turtles. I have the snail and then I have this... Um, I don't know if it's a walking leaf. I don't remember what he's called. But it's the one where there's a leaf by a tree and you go to pick it up and it's one of those leaf bugs. I have him in here just because I think he's cool. But see, I have things on the floor and I'm not supposed to if I want to go ahead and get all that exterior gold because they're really picky. But I think it just kind of goes well with, this, with the whole setting of the room. But that's this room. So we're going to go ahead and go to the back room on the first level here. And, I mean, my house is pretty girly enough, but this is my princess room. And a lot of the items, like I said, not everything is from the same collection. If, it, if something matched and went well with it, I kind of put it in there. Um, a lot of this stuff was purchased through Gracie's, except the crown. That was from Timmy and Tommy's place, and that was really expensive. But I just liked it and displayed it in here. And don't really know why I have the umbrella. I just think it's cute. But I also have this orchid mantis because I'm in love with it. Can't let that go. But pretty much this is my princess room. And this does match the fairy tale theme. So this room's pretty much good to go. 
Now, the first two rooms are not princess themed, so uh, eventually I'll have to switch those up just so that way I could get the whole exterior gold. And you know what? I think I honestly like it without the gold, but it's just kind of one of those things that it, it's for show, pretty much. Now, this room is my playroom. I have my little toy capsule machines or gachapon machines. Um, those are not part of the fairy tale uh, series at all, but I have to have those in my room because I'm a collector of those. Um, I did put the bears in there because they are part of it. I have like three of these dolls scattered throughout the room on the floor because they're part of it as well, but I'm going to take them to Cyrus and have him change up the colors. I do also have Bam. He was my favorite villager, and then when Dummy Me decided to time travel and cheat, he moved away. So I was really, really sad when he moved away, and that taught me a lesson. So, yeah, don't time travel. That's one of the things I would tell you. Do not time travel. Um, everything in here was from the Ball series, I believe. I believe that's where I got that from. It was kind of a while back. I don't, I don't really remember exactly. But now I'm going to go ahead and take you upstairs and show you what upstairs looks like. Now this room is also a lot of the items from Gracie's and this is not a fairy tale theme either but this was the first set I bought from from Gracie and I was all excited so this is one I need to definitely change to a fairy tale theme I do have the trash can I need to kind of conceal that better I really don't like the trash can but you kind of need to have one so that way if you get petitions that you have to take to another town and you don't get around to doing it then uh, you have to throw it away. You don't want to keep it in your pockets because that takes up room. So I keep the trash can. I just kind of have to move it somewhere else, like maybe back here. But a couple of pictures of my other favorite villagers. Right now I do still have Agnes on the right. And Bruce, unfortunately, he moved out. And I'm not sure why because I took really good care of him, but he moved out. And I guess when he was going to move out, he didn't tell me ahead of time, so I had no idea it was coming. And usually the other villagers are really good at letting you know, but that didn't happen. Okay, let's go down to the basement. The basement is a work in, prog uh, work in progress, but this one I'm um, getting all of the Rococo furniture, and that way that's going to fit the princess theme, and I'm taking all of this stuff. The card series you get when Gracie is about to switch from one theme to another, she holds her sails, and that's when you can get the card items. But I'm moving that um, into another character's home. Now, to be able to get my town the way I want it, you need to have so many QRs, uh, QR codes, uh, but we only have a slot for 10. I believe it's 10. Let me see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you really pretty much need an additional character or two to be able to have the paths um, and the other various things that you want to lay out on the ground on the outside. So I do have another character who is a boy. So I'm moving my card stuff to his house and the king stuff back there. Like you see the throne and the crown and all that, which that was expensive too. I don't want to get rid of those things. Um, and you can see on my QR codes, I didn't make any of these. I made some before, but if I dabble into the actual making of the clothes and things like that, I really think I'll probably put in another 500 hours. Um, but you'll see I have Satoru Iwata on the top right hand side. Uh, he is right now, he's my on my town flag. I had Princess Peach and that was one that I did myself. Um, but when he passed away, I wanted to have him as my town flag before I did have Reggie fils -Aimé. But right now it's it's Iwata. And going around here, you do see the Rococo furniture. It has been taken to Cyrus, and he has done his alternate colors. So this is the Gothic white, which is the white and pink, and I've done the tables. So I'm trying to keep things off of the floor. I need to take um, this table in. This is the original color of that furniture. And these three items, um, the candle up on the wall and then the clock in the chair, that is the gothic black color that he turns everything into. There's also a yellow and I thought I had something in here but evidently I must have changed it to either the, the black or the white because I didn't like the yellow. 
So I don't remember what I did with that. So I'm gonna get those rooms set up with all of the Rococo furniture. And I do have a couple of bugs in here. And this is the centipede and the ladybug. The ladybug I could get rid of, but I really like the centipede. I don't know, I need to not be collecting bugs. See what I mean? It's like, if I find something, I have to toss it in the room because I like it. It's like, no, I need to get rid of this stuff. I really need to make everything match. So, and get a better stereo, because that just doesn't go, but any recommendations you guys have, let me know. I do have some of the egg um, items from Easter that I need to move into the other house as well, but that house is, a, oh gosh, that's a disaster. What I was trying to do with the other one, um, and I'll do a video of my other character's home, um, is kind of have that one with the holiday themes, because it just makes you happy to have all the holiday stuff in there but I'm not too sure I'm not too sure where I'm gonna go with that but I will be creating a new character so that way we can have the last set of QR codes and you guys can help me get my town the way I want it so that's it for my house tour and I hope you like my house any suggestions that you have on helping me clean up make things look a little bit more tidy without uh, getting rid of too much. I'm not much of a minimalist as you can tell so Be reasonable, please don't make me get rid of everything. So help me out in the comment section below and We'll go ahead and be back with a, a Tour of my entire town so you can see what it looks like right now Get some ideas flowing and we'll go from there We'll end up with a town cleanup and just start going to town literally <laughs> Until next time, see you then.